morning everybody we are back on our excursions again in Myrtle Beach this time today we are tackling the Myrtle Beach Tanger Outlet so um, we did this already and had it on video for the North Myrtle Beach outlets but as you if you followed our blurb from last week our vlog you'll know that we didn't have much success it was just not a good uh, a good trip uh, selection was poor prices were high so we have a lot of hope that the things that are on our little list that we need to pick up at reasonable prices are going to be in this outlet store. So we'll bring you along uh, wherever we park and as we come across things that are interesting I'll turn the vlog back on give you an idea. But it's a beautiful day. Cool. You know, not many people here. Not many people here which is the way we like it. We were going to come yesterday which was a Sunday but we decided no let's don't do it. Let's go uh, on a day that it's not that busy and then we'll see if we can come up with something. So that's all for now. We'll come back. Okay, I just wanted to come back for a second again just to let you know. I mean, I was talking about these, these outlets. Now, it could be it's January, but we've been down here in January before and uh, there's been more crowds, yep. you know, but I'm looking here, look, there's two people there. These aisles, all the stores are empty. And I'm gonna to have to make a guess. The only reason this is a beautiful day is the prices. Yeah. There's no deal, people aren't flocking here anymore because of the price. But we're gonna find that out as we move. Let's move along to the next area. Maybe we can uh, see, we see, maybe there's uh, more people out there. <laughs> so just for anybody that wanted to know, this Tanger outlet in Myrtle Beach, it's out, all outdoor. So you should pick a good day. It is a huge store and it's full of stuff. Because of the music being played in there, I'll have to shut down. So. Give a quick look around the store before I shut her down and we'll take a look around. It is a huge store and we have had good success in here before. Okay, we've been wandering around here a little while. Thought I'd check back in. See, you got a bag here. The Adidas store was successful for me today. I was able to get a nice set of golf shorts and a nice Adidas golf top. All at the, I think the most, most was 60% off. The other one was 50. So I got both of them for $50. That's a full outfit. That's pretty darn good. And we're going to hit down the street there now. And we did Reebok. I bought a t-shirt in there, which was, I think it was nine or $11. It was a good deal. And Under Armour's down around that corner. And here we're going to walk by the big chairs. Comes my wife over there. So we might as well head down to Tommy and over to Under Armour. Finish our loop up so we don't get lost. <laughs> nice area. Saw some jumping out of stuff. Our next spot, I guess, we've done that whole side. We'll go to Tommy Under Armour and walk down there and see what else is there. As you can see, the crowds are just unbearable. You can hardly get around. Wow. Nautica, wife's in there. Under Armour store was just in there. Picked up another pair of golf shorts, which is a great price, and a golf shirt. So this whole trip down to these tangers is not turning out to be too bad for me. I'm getting some of the items I wanted for, which was golf for me next summer, pretty much, or even this winter. My wife, unfortunately, is not having the same luck. She's just not finding the things she's looking for. But we're not done yet. We'll continue around. People might be wondering, why are you not in the stores with your machine? I have been in there many times. The problem is, the music they play in the store is copyrighted. You uh, can't be rebroadcasting a vlog on YouTube with music that's uh, you know, somebody else's that you didn't pay for. So, we go to the areas out here where I can talk over the music or we just don't have any. All for now. Another thing in here I'm not used to is every place we go has a beef jerky spot. I love beef jerky. It's not no... Uh, no chances to not find any here. And the other thing is, amongst these little malls or these outlet stores, there's parking places. 
Normally you don't see that. You usually got to park outside and walk through a few spots. Well, done shopping. Got to treat herself now. Chick fil A. Always the best going to Chick Fil A. Always good. You can count on it being just what Chick it is. Chicken sandwich, but uh, not you got grilled this time. Not, not mm -hmm. gr uh, gr uh, what do you call it? Not uh, battered. Battered, yeah. Um, crispy. Yeah. And I got the 12 pack of nuggets, and it's like 13 bucks. It's always it's always the best. Uh, yeah. Clean plate award always, of course. <laughs> Like a nine out of ten, you can't really go wrong because everything's always hot. And it's probably our favorite go-to spot when we need stuff. <laughs> yep, for sure. Thumbs up, clean plate. Yep. Okay, on our way home from the mall, we are going into our first loop through Publix. It's our favorite department store when we get down to Florida. Grocery store. Grocery store. We go to. Uh, we go to Walmart a lot for some things that are just cheaper, but this is our staple store. Famous sub area where you can get a nice foot long sub for a reasonable price. The made salads are always good somehow. They are good here. Not a lot of selection left after lunch. They have these nice pre-packaged meals. So there's no waste, you can be reasonably priced. That's easy, quick and simple. These are uh, pre made, there's four there. There's two there, I'm feeling the two. Uh, well, we'll just go and buy some here like this and we'll make our own. I'll we'll get a brioche bond up front. Good morning all. Well, you can see by the start of this vlog where we are. Top Golf Myrtle Beach. It's a first for uh, my wife and I. We just wanted to come in. It's like a belated birthday present for me. Birthday was in January and we said, well, we'll go in here and try this Top Golf scenario and uh, see what it's all about. Play some games, get some food. Could be a lot of fun. Here we go. Morning. How are you? We got a time at 10 o'clock. What's the name? Wilson. Steven? Yes. Alright. Yeah, y'all ready to go now? Well, we're ready to go. We just, uh, this is our first time, so we need somebody to take us along. Nice bar area. Hey. Okay. This music. Yeah, I can kick that out. So there's three floors, and we're going to number three, I guess. Well, there's people down here on number one, though. Okay, we're on the third floor, 320. So just uh, hit our button there. I don't feel like walking up. Come play around. Nice. So third floor, walking his way down here, 320. Somebody's gonna come up and get us set up, but this is, uh, this is spectacular. Loving this. here boys people are always wondering sometimes about clubs and stuff 
lots of options here I brought my own just because it was easy and I could Beautiful day. Fantastic. Birthday boys hitting, well, almost first. A little belated birthday celebration day. Couldn't be better. Okay, we're playing Angry Birds now. So, and before Ann hit, you take off the screen. Oh, next up is T. You're up. I'm up, I guess. I'll, I'll take it. Yep. This is six. So, you can see. I'm actually, oh, I'm beating Steve right now. <laughs> you try to smash down the castle. Ah, that's a good one. Oh, I didn't win that one way. Oh, this was a really fun game. Um, Angry Birds. Yeah. Cool. That's still me. Yep. Ah. There's a rip right there down the middle. And we've only got four minutes and 58 seconds left. So she's on rapid fire. Another good rip. There's a nice one. Good way to end it, we're right there. Thumb, that's it. Thumbs up, that's it. Okay, here we are. Walking down our stairs at the resort on Thursday. I believe it's February 2nd. February 1st. Oh, February 1st. There you go. I am corrected. We have uh, today and tomorrow we're here at the Sheraton. And then we're on our way to Florida. So, to take you out here today, what time is it? About 12 30? Yeah. Hey, around 12 30, 21. It's a beautiful day. We just got. Uh, Shorts on. Look I got silly. a little, little cover up here. Shorts on. Anyway, we're gonna go from here for a little walk. It's about a kilometer from here across the road to a place called Broadway at the beach. Now, if you bring up anything in Myrtle Beach, or if you're down here and you're saying, what can we do today? Broadway at the beach is a place where there's a lot of events. Everything from shopping, of course, restaurants, Ferris wheels, uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not, uh, just all of that kind of stuff, games, places like that. So it's a, it's a fun place, and we'll take you along and uh, give you some of the sights and sounds. Now, it's an outdoor thing all the way around, and you do all your activities on the inside. So it's kind of neat, and I'll take you along so you can see. You will be here if you're in Middle Beach. You will spend some time here, no question. And if you turn right, way down at the end of this road here, is the PGA Superstore. So Top Golf PGA Superstore Broadway at the beach is a big deal. I'm gonna walk, I guess this way, we'll yeah, cross over there. Over there. Uh, it's a big deal for somebody who likes golf. Pretty good corner. All oh, right, we've already been there. Ah, there's where we're going. 
perfect. Try to get as much footage as I can in here, but like I say, when they have music on, sometimes it's hard for us to tape. But I can always take that out and uh, put uh, some background music in so you can get a look at all the sights. Yeah. The country music is playing. Yeah, we'll go along here and see if there's. Very nice and quiet, a very nice time for us to come. So we're going to go around to the left here. And we're going to go along that walkway. This is the far outside. And uh, because it's the far outside, you'll be able to see in the middle. Now in the middle area, you'll see a stage where they have concerts. And you'll also see where they have, uh, not today, but they have uh, motorboats going. And uh, it's really fun. They, you, you rent them and you can drive them also. They have professional drivers that'll take you in around the center. See all that area there and stuff along. A lot of this was being, uh, I guess, under construction last year. We couldn't even walk. You look here, this is all new walkway yeah. for people that haven't been here before. It's real nice. So coming soon, Pop Stroke, eat, putt and drink. Now I'm not 100% sure. I think Pop Stroke is Tiger Woods' uh, uh, job where he uh, started to uh, uh, start a thing similar to Top Golf. So this is called Pop Stroke. We'll have to, we'll have to check out the well, I'm just going to hold the camera right over top of it and just see. I can't quite see, but others may see. Looks like a mini putt area. It is, I, think, I believe, this is exactly what this is. But of course, it's not open yet, but it looks very nice. Very nice. Food and uh, everything else, yep. Great place for it. This is the hangout over here. This is the area we saw from the other side. <laughs> Have you ever seen it so quiet? quiet very it's quiet. Just, it's even quieter than we imagined. Okay. I can actually do it. Look. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Do that again. <laughs> it fits in there. Perfect. sudden we're at the Creaky Mart. Yes sir, Mulligan's Golf Gift Shop. So, being a golfer, that means that I'm pretty much going to have to go in there, I think. <laughs> Take a quick look around anyway. I don't know if there's any music back here or not. Yeah. There's a, oh my gosh. yeah, there's a lot of funny little things you see. There's a lot of Trump stuff here. I want it for a second there. Takes kites, a lot of kites. Of uh, the park and came in on. You see the water here. 
doesn't go any further back here. That's one to work. We took the video of. Anyway, so from here, we're basically running the back side and going back and forth inside. But as you can say, it is some quiet. Hard to believe. I hardly see anyone out around. So very nice day though. Mind if I take a little video just watching you do your work? Looks like it's quite labor intensive. <laughs> <laughs> you got some upper body strength. Yeah, you, you got it, yes. That. Yes, sir. You just get in circles for a little while. Yes, sir. We've been making fudge like this for our, about 75 years. 75 years, yeah. wow. I, yeah, well, I, it's definitely an art, isn't it? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> in this part of the process, I guess it doesn't really matter what type you're making, this all stays the same. You've got to do the working. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Now, if I had nuts and I would have put that in a long time ago, but this is just our traditional trough approach. Oh, I got you. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, my wife. Hey, yeah. I'm just watching this man do his, do his action here. You know, you know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It does smell delicious. So once you're done working it and you're all happy with that, how long would you let it have to have to sit before it sets? You know what I mean? A couple minutes once it totally sets. Oh, once it totally yeah, sets. Yeah. Oh, so you'll work it almost into a set. Yep. Oh, I got you. I didn't realize that. See those little tools over there? That's yes. what we go to next. Okay. I've been waiting for it to kind of slow down. See how it's still kind of moving? Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got to wait until it almost stops. I got you. And then you'll, when it almost stops, then you start with your smaller aspect. Yeah. Of it. Okay. Yeah. So it really does set in pretty quickly. It's pretty oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, pretty quickly to me. I'm not doing the work. <laughs> yeah. It's not easy. Yeah. I would have it all over the floor. Oh yeah, all in no question. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you have it on the floor, I probably have it on the window. So that's. Yeah, that's <laughs> well, I actually have it on my window right now. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I see a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, that's pretty darn good. I'd yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. I'll take a look around the store too and Absolutely. all the all the good stuff. There's our favorite caramel corn in. There's our favorite stuff. Oh everything in here is my favorite stuff. <laughs> I know. The ice cream. Wonderful stuff. So is there something there Mrs. Wilson should get? Maybe over here? Chocolate peanut butter. Wow. Different types of apples. Man, they look pretty. Like, like I said, I can slow some things down. I did buy him one something. 
Okay. Oh, it's painted. Died, sort of. Oh, I know. This would be a very busy spot. Oh, it might even be on the weekends. Like this weekend is supposed to be really nice and sunny. I bet you it's pretty busy then. I already got that one. What is? Ah. after we get out of here. Absolutely the quietest I've ever been here. Half the stores aren't open. I'll, I'll make a point of that talking about after. That was a bust. 20, 70% off Christmas decor. Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sit out here. I'll sit out here, okay? Just catching the last little corner. There's a few stores along there. We'll walk up there in a minute. But it was hard to find a spot where we could get out here and uh, actually talk because the way YouTube works is any type of copyrighted music that's playing in the background, uh, you're not allowed to play because it's obviously copyrighted. You're not getting any any money out to the to the artists. So YouTube will copyright you and uh, strike your video, so it won't show up. So we make sure and we're very careful if we can that we don't catch anything or we play our own music that's not copyrighted. So that's why you'll see some of that in our videos. Okay. Just Good pulled morning. in. Morning. <laughs> we just uh, parked down here in a random open lot. And we're in Myrtle Beach now. We just wanted to make sure before we left, which is tomorrow, this is Friday. We leave tomorrow on the February 3rd to head down to Florida. But we did some footage on the beach in uh, North Myrtle Beach, but uh, we didn't get anything down here. I just wanted to show you what the beaches are like in this area because because they're fine too. Not a problem here. As you can see a little further up, we took you some footage of that the other day. You can see the sky wheel up there. You can see the pier. It's a fishing pier, but it's also got some uh, nice uh, shops on it. So we're just coming down and it's a fine day. It's a uh, about 15 degrees C, about 68 F in that range. So I can actually say I'm going to take my uh, Beautiful sand. sandals off. But this is actually the first time these old feet, which are pretty ugly, have uh, walked on sand. This trip, I know yours have already. At North Middle Beach. It is beautiful down here. What oh, did you, uh, you did, you got yours off. Yep, don't blame me. Toes in the sand. Yep. 
got to keep an eye on our car too, but I just can't imagine it being in the way. So, a little better view there. And you can see the high rises are everywhere along here. People are actually out on their decks today. Because like I say, the sun is not really right out, but you can certainly feel the heat. Beautiful down here. I'll take a little walk down this way, I guess. And I already got her 5K in this morning, so I won't get walked to death this afternoon here. <laughs> I would say this is very similar to uh, North Myrtle Beach, but North Myrtle Beach, the sand might be a little more compacted. Maybe yeah. because there's just more traffic, I don't sure. know. Yeah. But even down over there, if you look back for it, you see people, they've got their chairs out. And that sun just popped out now, and I'll tell you, it's warm. Not complaining. I realized back at home in New Brunswick, it's snowing today, so. No complaints here. actually where we parked our car was at the end of a little cement slab and I didn't know what it was and now I realize when I see that man over there walking that that's a, a boardwalk it comes all the way from the boardwalk and the cement goes all the way in front and it ends where we parked our car so that's kind of good you can walk that without having to worry about saying yeah so the sky wheel hard to tell but I'll hold it there for a sec is actually moving this morning so it's people are out and about. Anyway, we are going to miss this place. Really, really enjoyed it, didn't we, here? I, yeah. The I'm whole Myrtle Beach area. Almost rethinking our winter. I know, me too. We'll see. Um, I did go ahead and get the, the future weather as we're heading down to Florida, for, like I said, for a couple of months tomorrow. And basically, it's not what we wanted to hear. <laughs> People think it's just automatically always warm in Florida, but it's not this time of year. And actually over the next week, the temperatures are going to be 70 or 21, 22 degrees C. And that's, and, perfect. And that's perfect. So when it gets to 28, 29, 30, that kind of bothers us. Okay, we'll call that a little gig right there and uh, can come back at another time. We're taking a drive now. South Strand. This is the road that takes you into Surfside, Surfside Beach, and um, all the hotel area around there. It's further down goes down to Hilton Head, way down. So after you go through North Myrtle Beach and then I guess South Myrtle Beach, you come to Surfside, and I find this area a little bit more touristy and um, how can I say this politely? Trashy. Dumpy? <laughs> You'll see as you, as we drive along. It's not as appealing, I guess, um, when you're going for a drive. And we've stayed in this end, and we've stayed in all three ends now. And um, so this would be our least favorite. I think this would be yeah. This would be the rank third out of the top three. Uh, probably no, I like North Middle Beach the best. Is that just our opinion? Not saying that there's anything wrong with this area. It's just as you can see, it's a little bit more dated and uh, touristy. One of the spots we like down here is a little, I think we showed you in one of our videos, Aldi's, or not Aldi's, excuse me, uh, Ollie's. Ollie's, yeah. And it's up here, so we'll probably stop in there just for a little walk through, see if there's anything catches our eye. We stayed in a resort to our left, which was on the beach. I can't remember the name of it. Before, I can't either. Before last year. Right. And on the right, a place called Presidential Suites. So we spent two parts of two different years in here, in this area. And there's a Walmart in here. Yeah, there it is there. And that's uh, the one we used to buy all our stuff at last year. Just past that. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people.
people bring their trailers down and they, uh, they camp. You can see trailers in front of us. But to our left is a huge Lakewood camping resort over there. And we walked through that when we were here and it uh, it's just full of trailers. I mean, it's, it's a huge place right on the water. I have no idea what it would cost to uh, to stay there for the winter or per night. You probably get a deal, but, uh, you know, for staying a long period of time. But it's just not unusual. What's unusual for Canadians is coming down this way and passing people who are pulling trailers. Yeah. Coming like this one in front of us is from New York. The one on the other side is from North Carolina. So they come down and they just get away from the snow. And it's generally not as cold. Okay, we stopped in Surfside for a little lunch for being on the road and we always wanted to stick with our motto this year of trying new things. So we stopped at Popeyes. All right. So what we got here was a, a two-piece oh, uh, two piece chicken. Chicken, yeah, chicken with fries and uh, comes with a biscuit. So it looks pretty good and, and got a, a, a chicken sandwich. Oh, that looks huge. I hope you're right. gonna help me eat this. So we're gonna we're gonna put that down and uh, go at it and see how we like it and give you a review after. I told my boys that I found the best woman around. She's so sweet to my fantasy treat. Uh, Sexier than lingerie, strong as a serrated blade, smart as can be. You'll think she had a PhD. One look in her eyes, and I'm mesmerized and hypnotized. She has class in the body of an hourglass. I know she's the one for me. It's her. I okay, we are back off eating time. You know. That was pretty good. It was good. It was actually good. Uh, we'd never been to Popeye's before, not that we could remember. And got the, the classic sandwich. It was huge. Uh, very, very good. I, I had half it. It was yeah. pretty good. And I decided to uh, get a two-piece chicken you know, combo like you might get at KFC or, or a, you know, a Dixie, Lee. Dixie Lee or something like that if you're from Canada. And uh, it, the, the meat and the chicken itself was really good. Mm -hmm. But uh, it took a lot of breading to get through to get to the meat. And it was really but, hot. And it was really hot. So, I mean, hey, all in all, it's a, it's a basically a clean plate award except for the breading. Yeah. And eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, and I would agree. That's a, that was a good place to go. So, until the next one.